Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is me again. This is the VTech InnoPad Review Part Two. I'm just calling. Um, I'm making this video because, um, like I said, I'm, I'm reviewing the InnoPad, and um, it's for my two and a half year old daughter. I bought it for her. This is supposed to be for kids four to nine, and you figure, you know probably get something a little bit more advanced for your kid so that he could get smarter or somewhat but um, I'm having a problem with this one of the things I'm having a problem with is um, it only brings maybe seven cartridges right um, brings the Dora, the Princess of Disney, whatever uh, Spongebob Toy Story and some other stuff, but there's only one game that is for the youngest, and it's from age four to five or six. Like I said, she's only two and a half. I bought it thinking that it probably could have, you know, be something nice for her. And um, the truth is that I kind of find my, I see my. I see my daughter, as soon as she turns it on, you know, it takes a little while to load up and everything, and um, she just grabs it and starts playing the door, and she's only stuck, um, she's stuck on this one game on the door cartridge that is like beat the puppy, yeah. and um, somehow I see it's not working out for her, you know, she, she just grabs it, turns it on, and plays it one, two minutes, and then she just tossed the damn thing, and, um, they're saying that, you you know, if you get on the internet somewhat, you can download apps and stuff, but in reality, there isn't that many apps for this, you know, and I was doing a little bit more research, and, um, looking at the Leapfrog Explorer, and it seemed like that one might be a better one. Before I got that one, I almost before I got the InnoPad, I almost got her the Mobigo from B Tech also, and um, I kind of went to Toys R Us and I took her with me, and she started playing with the InnoPad for a little bit, and then she kind of turned her way towards the Mobigo, and um, it looked like the Mobigo was more she was more interested in the Mobigo. The age range for the Mobigo is from three to nine. And it's got more apps that you could download, and the games are from an early, younger age. And the the and the and the play game type is it was a little better because it if it holds like a uh, PS3 somewhat, and then when you snap it off, it kind of got like a, a keypad, you know, you could you know like a computer type. So you know, even though this is just touch screen. You know, it's supposed to be, yeah, like the iPod or something, like, but in reality, you kind of want to teach your kids how to type, you know, find the numbers on the keypad, learn the A from the Z, or, the, you know, so, you know, all the letters. So, this here is kind of, yeah, a little bit advanced, and it's nice, and you can put the picture, put the videos, and watch videos, and so on, what, but it just, I don't know, it's just a little too plain. They kind of hyped it up a little bit, and, um, it's, it's a good unit, don't get me wrong. But if your kids were a little older, and that's what I'm planning on doing, just saving this one until she gets a little older. But by the time that happens, you know, something new might come out. But I paid seven, I paid almost eighty nine dollars for this, and um, for the price I paid for this, I could have got her the Leaf Ball Explorer, a bundle, two cartridges in a in a case. Same thing with the V Tech, the Mobigo was a bundle, two video games, two cartridges, and a case for the same price as this. And I'm pretty sure they could enjoy it more. They could have, she could have enjoyed enjoy it more than this. And um, kind of a little bit of the con on this is the batteries. Battery, it drains the battery in a whole day. If you just go to the store and you buy regular batteries, if you go to the store and you buy regular batteries, it's just going to drain them all. 
you know, kind of drains them out. Um, and then this is the little brand I'm talking about right here. Say hi. So, yeah, she kind of, you know, she plays with it. And, um, I don't know. This is, it's, it's good, but it's just, you know, a little too, I don't want to say advanced, because she's a smart girl, it's just that she's a little bit like me, she's in the hyper side, as you can see, she is, um, she gets a little frustrated when she has to wait for that thing to turn on, and then this and that, but I mean, it's got some cool features in here that I'm pretty sure your kid will, will, uh, enjoy, and, uh, mine did, but then again, like I said, you know, I don't worry about the battery too much, because, um, go downstairs, go watch, go watch much about mine. Go watch Spongebob. Go watch, um, well, well, whoopsie. And, um, this here, I bought the, um, let me open it up. I bought the rechargeable batteries. Here. Don't move the table, please. I bought the rechargeable batteries. They're, um, energizer. Energizer, I'm pretty sure you could rechargeable. And it's a cool thing because nah, nah, get out of there, get out of the table, get out from under the table. I bought these batteries here for I think it was like 17 bucks. The regular price is like $20. I bought this at Walgreens. And that's um, the thing over here that um. You put them in here. Let's see, let's see if you could watch this without them lighting in here so bad. But yeah, it's this unit here. You kind of pop it up. And you put them. That's the timer. It tells you. It kind of tells you here um, how long like, the battery is. You know how long right on this one. It shows you when the batteries are. Don't pull on that. The batteries here, how long, as soon as you plug it in, it tells you how many hours or, you know, how many hours it's going to take for it to charge. And here is a meter, it tells you when it's full or how long it's got to go. And this here, it's, um, it's just with this little marks here, it just lights up in case the battery have, you know, if you have drained the battery out too much or you have, or you, or you have, um, maybe charge them. It kind of goes into a phone saying that the battery won't charge anymore. But well, this is a pretty good unit. You know, if something to have with this, you know, you plug them off, charge them for maybe overnight, plug them in at night. And, uh, you know, like the way, you know, the type of use she gives to this, the battery probably lasts for like for two days. You're just using them too much. And, um, but yeah, like I said, if you want. You know, it's not like it's a bad unit or what. But, and then this here, if I took off batteries on this little slot here, I got the SD card. You know, so I already got an SD card in there for her. I want to pull it out because I don't know if it said anything. But yeah, see, SD card. I already got some movies in there for her. I got some, uh, some of the cartoon, cartoon stuff for her and the batteries you know I also have a AC adapter that sometimes when I lay her down in her crib you know I kind of like just put it in the top hang it you know I'll, I'll hang it somewhere and then I'll, she'll watch a movie or you know, some cartoon movie you go you know listen to music um, the only thing that doesn't have is a camera obviously if you guys already know about this it doesn't have a camera but <clears throat> it's not a bad unit you know that from B Tech. It's just this is more for an advanced kit. See, and then you got the cartridge here. This, which is the only cartridge I've gotten her. I got from the door cartridge. You know, door cartridge. So something for her to play. I gotta watch her because she's all over the place. So I hope you people enjoy my video, and um, I hope it was for some help. So yeah, I mean if you got it, hold on to it. You don't have to return it, but if you want to return it for the price of this, you get the two games and a case. I think it's for a hundred and ten dollars. So I think for twenty dollars more, you'll get some better. Because I mean, just for this unit here, I paid eighty. 
and I have to buy the individual batteries and the AC jack and the cartridge. So all around, I'll probably pick around 150 or more. So for 110 or 115, you can get yourself a Moby Boat, a Moby Go, or the Explore or the Leaf Frog Explore, which is seen more of a better choice for a young kid and um, probably a more interesting for them to do or to play with. Okay, so peace, and I'm out of here. Yeah. And this is for y'all. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.